Problem number 20. You want to know the mean amount of time that students spend on MyStatLab. How many students will you need to have? So the question is asking for the sample size. Right? We have to find n. In order to be 99% confident, so I'm going to write that down, 99%, that the mean amount of time that they will spend in my stat lab is within two minutes of the population mean. That is the margin of error. That's E. So E is equal to 2. So this is called the margin of error. So this is one of the questions where they ask you for the sample size. So whenever they ask you for the sample size, they always give you the margin of error. And once you find it, you have to find the width. So to find the width, you always multiply it by 2. So the width is always going to be 2 times e. So in this case, it's 2 times 2, so it's 4. So the width is 4. Also, you'll notice it says, assume that the population standard deviation is 2.5. So they're giving us sigma. They're giving us the population standard deviation. So in this problem, we're going to use z because they're giving us the population standard deviation. OK. So we go to StatCrunch, and we go to stat z, and we have one sample. And we have the width, and we're looking for the sample size. Let me do that again. It's stat z, one sample with sample size. Okay, Click here. Then you have this funny looking chart. So the level was 99. They gave us the standard deviation. So we have to change that to 2.5. And then it looks like the width here is going to be 4. So everything looks good. We've got our confidence level. We have our standard deviation. We have our width. You click compute. Boom, there it is. n is equal to 11. That's how many people need to be surveyed. Let's read it one more time. So again, the question is asking how many students will you need to have in your study, right? So what is the sample size? So we're looking for n to be 99% confident. And then it says that the mean amount of time that they spend in my stat lab is within two minutes of the population mean. So whenever they're asking you for the sample size, they always have to give you e. So this number here, this 2, has to be the margin of error. Once you find that, automatically multiply it by 2. And then to figure out what command to use in StatCrunch, we use z. And the reason we know to use z is because, one, it's talking about means. And secondly, it gives you the population standard deviation. Then you just go to StatCrunch, and you plug in all of the numbers. That's it.